So let's talk about this because I thought it was amazing to see again. Iteration number two, it looks like, of a Cold Wars 1461 with Dr. Martins that they've made. Obviously, the first ones I featured here on my channel before, the Greys. I thought they might have been one of his kind of better collaborations overall, maybe up there with that Air Force One with the minimal laces in them, with the with the two eyelets, sorry, in them, or four. Was it one one on the bottom, one on the top? I thought it might be up there with that in terms of how he was able to kind of reimagine a classic silhouette, elevate it to a point without it looking too pretentious and also make it somewhat functional, right? A shoe that you can want to kind of beat up and wear. And this brings me nicely onto this point of these shoes and the photos that have been used to kind of market them all over social media and stuff. And my kind of preference has always been, as I said it many times on this show before, is that I have a real problem with sneaker product shots or footwear product shots in total, in totality. I think they're terrible, especially the ones that Hype Beast take or like Hype X and other places like that, where they take a picture of somebody with pin rolls or it looks like they're jumping somewhere, running on their toes, wacky socks on, just absolute garbage pictures. Or the one where they're stepping on water, it looks like on the SLR, doing it, you know, at really, you know, slow. Was it slow frame per second to kind of catch all the light and make it look like he's splashing? All the really annoying, cringy photos. And they don't necessarily give you an any kind of oomph for really longing or desire to grab that shoe it's just kind of meh but the one thing i've kind of give credit to samuel ross and what he's done with these collaborations when it comes to footwear is that he's kind of elevated the photography a bit it looks fresher it just looks far more interesting um it looks like something that you would instantly want to wear and pick up yourself you want to investigate it. You want to find out what materials were used, why it looks the way it does, why the sole is translucent. All these little things you want to pick up on because of how somebody has worn it. And I think in general that some of these kind of product shots, especially the ones that they're taking, they do such a good job in order to kind of get people to actually buy the shoe. That is also making me think to myself, there is a real strength in being able to display a shoe like this, brand new, like this 1461, look how classic that looks. You know, you see the classic Dr. Martin sort of um, stitching there on the sole. You've got the translucent clear eye sole, which I've never really seen in the Dr. Martin. Again, I used to work with Dr. Martin for many years in the stores and stuff. Um, I went up to even being a flipping, what was I, supervisor at one point, which is kind of the level above assist, level below assistant manager. I got a one pound raise off that. That was fucking hilarious, right? They made a big deal out of me getting this promotion, um, battling with some somebody else in the team who I ended up in, who I ended up falling out with uh, because of this fucking stupid war to get that um, sub supervisor role only for me to get it and be terrible as a supervisor. I was fucking garbage at it. Garbage at being a supervisor. I could not be a supervisor in a retail store. I was just too shit. Um, too friendly with everybody. Um, went in to always have a laugh. Too distracted. Couldn't cash out to save my life. Cashing up, man. Oh my God. I, it used to take me hours to cash up in the till. So much so that the till was always off by like a couple of pounds or something. And it was never because I was taking money out of the till. Always because I couldn't count properly. Next day, a manager would come in and correct it and find out, oh yeah, there was £10 underneath a shoot i forgot to count or just something stupid like that i was just terrible at their job anyway regardless i've never seen a translucent sort of that icy soul so for them to take that and do it on this sort of model um have the sort of concealed hidden laces um eyelet things on the top the little um snap buttons what would you call them embossed buttons here on the side the iconography of a cold wall there on the side as well just beautiful i would have liked to have seen this sort of logo done in some sort of metal maybe like a badge that kind of hangs off of it maybe that's a bit too much to ox for maybe it would have maybe raised the price overall i like the fact that they've got a little pull tab there made out of leather on the back but that would have been great to have like a little tag here that was kind of made out of some metal some sort of chrome they could have put on the outside but regardless they got me thinking, right? These product shots, clean, clear, brand new, looks amazing. Then you go into Sammy Ross's Instagram itself and him kind of showcasing the shoes in his studio and the actual pairs that I think he's got, right? The, maybe the wear testing pair that he had in order to make sure they're perfect. And look how great they look as studio kicks, right? Those are his studio kicks he's been wearing maybe on a daily basis. But that and in combination with the other pictures I've shown you from Hypebeast itself, those instantly want you to buy the shoe. It instantly makes you want to buy the shoe because now you've seen how it looks after a couple of wears, maybe some convenient sort of splatters here on the front to make them look like Margellas or to make them look like you're in the studio working because, again, I worked in Dr. Martins. I've worn a lot of Dr. Martins I can't think of more I can't think of a more uncomfortable shoe to wear day to day than a Dr. Martin personally, especially in the studio. Unless until you've broken them in. Once you break them in, they're like flipping sandals. But it takes a long time to break in a pair of Dr. Martin. So I can't imagine how how tough it must be to have those freaking bricks in your feet. And um 
sizing wise too i don't know why about the sole maybe is there like an elastic elastic on it to keep the tongue in i wonder if you could wear these without the laces and just kind of keep them like that probably can anyway regardless going back to the point i think these product shots really give um the shoe a whole different feel they help to elevate it one bit help to give you a context of how it looks in real life and they do a far better job at selling the shoe than these sort of over stylized weird kind of shitty sneaker pictures that most of these sites take where somebody's wearing pin rolls and funky socks you know i mean it's just garbage it's really trite i much prefer this sort of stuff in my opinion when it comes to the sneaker shots and again big up them for doing a good job um in doing so it looks like for the most part they've given samuel ross creative control in order to kind of put out some of the promotional materials for this sort of stuff and it shows because the uh, images are really 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 good you don't see those kind of corny dr martin images that they always do where there's some kids sitting on top of a flipping phone box do you know what i mean with his feet dangling down and him showing some d double double stacked martins it's like it's a bit boring but i love these i think these are really well done if anything i would have preferred to have seen them on a 1460 i think this model that shape um the way the laces are concealed it being in a 1460 which is the one with what is that 12 holes whatever the one i have right the kind of classic boot that would have looked flipping epic that would have been up there with that vetemar dr martin's or that vetemar dr martin's type shoe that was classic back in the day that had the borderline at the back Do you remember that one the one with the no laces yeah that would have been up there with that kind of level but yeah really amazing great collaboration um when are they due to come out actually let's read the actual article because i haven't seen the article here itself it says hype beast the home center of cold war and the british uh, footwear brand dr martins are back for a third time this time giving the 1461 silhouette that it dropped in graphite back in august in black makeover it feels like all these collaborations are like that right they rarely ever make a collaboration where there's only one colorway it feels like all these brands sort of like hope when they do these collaborations that you're going to sell out you're going to be able to get loads of free press. You're going to be able to maybe fan, make, make some new fans. You're going to be able to create a little moment, put it in your kind of marketing deck for other promotional materials or other deals that you want to do in the future. Because that's what basically they use them as, right? A bit of leverage um, to have all these kind of crazy designers and people collaborating on your brand, hopefully use that to then leverage to get other deals going forward. So it is interesting to think about that sort of shit um, and also to think about the fees that they're paying people. Like it's probably not enough the amount of money these guys are getting to these collaborations because they do give them a lot of life, but again it's a mutually beneficial um collab because on the back of it a cold war gets to work with dr martins you get to make really high quality shoes you get to kind of learn their processes and manufacturing and whatnot and insights and whatnot that you can kind of take into your own stuff and it also allows you to kind of be aligned with a historic um brand right legendary uk brand footwear brand in that, in that respect um that can obviously help you in the future too to kind of parlay that stuff into other um brand deals for yourself it continues it says here in many ways the up and coming pair is like a combination of the 1460 that first released in july 2020 and the aforementioned 1461 um the bex graphite it features in spit folded tongue. hold on they did a 1460 when did they do a 1460 i don't remember that they did a 1460 already so that, that's a boot i was talking about the classic boot when did they do this they did a 1460 i don't remember this at all in 2020 last year look time has gone by in a blur man they put this out during the pandemic so that's probably why i didn't i wasn't paying attention i'm gonna be honest and say maybe that's why i wasn't paying attention but i didn't know they did a 1460 my bad i completely missed that one let's see if my computer can load in time so you can see what these 1460s look like it's still loading oh yeah i remember they did do them yeah okay cool they did them already i already said they would look amazing in a color. okay cool but i would prefer them in the same color with the transition sole but these are still pretty amazing okay yeah they did do a 1460 my bad it was the first collaboration that sold out in an instant as well again very very well done collaborations you have to be honest man super super good um the graphite pair only came okay only came with a zipper this one doesn't however the tongue section is locked um with a super um is, is locked to the upper using metal rivets and the heavy presence of top stitching the element such as the awe bracket logo also appear on the shoot upper yeah this time around is printed onto the middle panel rather than being stamped on the very quarter like the former 46 one but still i would have liked it's like a metal emblem that would have been sick um rounding out the shoe design is a sole unit that is quintessentially dr martin's appearing in a semi-translucent clear rubber sole the ribbed airway um equipped piece is contrasted with a brand's iconic yellow double welt stitching yo that sole reminds me do you remember those classic rebook workouts with kind of, kind of the icy sole i think why was kind of famous for wearing them imagine you did the colorway similar to that of those rebooks so you kind of got them in like a white with like a red translucent sole a blue translucent sole oh they would look so tough 
Like so, so, so tough. Um, but again, 1461s are the type of shoe where they, they 1461s for me, especially because again, I always used to wear 1460s um, or Jaden's, the classic double sole shoes. They were always similar to like Stan Smith's for me. Stan Smith's and Converse's always look amazing on other people. But as soon as I put them on, they look like absolute dog shit. I don't know what it is about me, my foot, my build, that just doesn't look good in 1461s. But whenever someone else wears a 1461, they look great. And on me, they just don't look that great. And I don't know what it is. It's not like a skinny, fat thing because I've seen plenty of bigger dudes, way bigger than I am, who wear kind of Carhartt stuff and big baggy trousers who wear 1461s and they look amazing on them. But whenever I put them on, they just didn't sit right with me just didn't kind of you know didn't really fit my my steez my swag whatever you want to call it so yeah big up them when did you to come out due to come out it looks like on november the 4th oh okay so they're so they're out already so it should be out very very soon so definitely go check them out if you haven't already um they're going to be priced at 230 dollars so not cheap but again with a dr martin you're going to have them for life basically if you look after them well enough um they're pretty great shoes you can replace the sole obviously not with a translucent maybe but you can replace the sole you can repair it pretty easily at most cobblers sometimes if you're nice i don't know what the deal is now but remember back then when i used to work there if you're nice enough they would maybe offer to repair them for you for free in store or maybe for a small fee or nominal fee but regardless um great collaboration from cold war um again and a, a, a perfect congruent collaboration if ever there was one a perfect congruent collaboration <laughs> 